Good YouTube, man. It's what being on back on the video, and as y'all can clearly see, we back on the current gen with it, man. And the reason that we keep dropping these current gen videos, because like I said at the end of my videos, always comment down below what y'all want me to uh, to do next. And I keep seeing comments that that are telling me to stay on next gen and keep producing next gen vids. So I'm gonna keep doing that for y'all. And in today's video, I'm bringing y'all a cover three beater on current gen, man. So let's hop right into it. All right, y'all, man. And in today's video, the formation we're going to be in is pistol wing flex close. And the play that we're going to be running is PA flood. Now, for this play, um, the substitution that you want to make is you want to put your fastest receiver right here where Scotty Miller is. Here's where you want to have your fastest receiver because if your receiver isn't fast enough, it's more than likely going to get picked off, especially if that corner is faster than your receiver. He's going to be able to cover up that ground. Um, and that separation that this receiver is going to get. But if he's fast enough, you should be okay. You should be able to get that one play touchdown every single time against that cover three. Um, and the play that we're going to be running is going to be called PA Flood. And as usual, man, um, the playbooks that have this play um, information will be down below in the description. So be sure to check that out. And let's hop right into the setup. All right, y'all, man. For the setup for this play, it's a very simple and easy setup. Um, first things first, you want to start by streaking circle and streaking your tight end. That's all you really have to do. But the only other suggestion, uh, suggestion, suggestion I have for this play is you, when you call hut, is you hit R2 after calling a snap, and that will cancel out the play action. I don't suggest putting your hat back on a different route or anything like that to get rid of that play action because the play action is the most important part of this play because it causes that um, outside safety on, towards the left side of the field to kind of still play this little fade route over here um and not guard the streak up the seams um and yeah so yeah so let's go ahead and call hut hit r2 right there all you want to do is look for that streak up the seams easy one play tutty every single time man um that's gonna work every single time against cover threes um let me show you one more time so streak streak cancel out this play action and then go ahead and hit them up the seams just go ahead and rack that and that's gonna result in a touchdown every single time um, and the reason I said you need speed there in the intro is because if he's not um, if he's not fast, that outside safety is going to be able to catch up to him after you cancel out that play action. So that's the reason you want to kind of have some speed right there. Um, you want it to be your fast receiver, not your best receiver. So go ahead and call it one more time. So as y'all can clearly see, wide open, boom. You can do whatever type of catch you want, but that is going to be a tutty every single time, no matter what the defense does. The only way to stop it is to to not call a cover three. Um, and so, yes, yeah, that's wrap the video right there. So, man, if y'all enjoyed this video, if y'all added this play to y'all playbook because of me, be sure to hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, sub up and turn that post notification bell so you get notified every single time I post. And on the road to 1K, we are currently at 940 right now. Um... And so we're super, super close to hitting that 1K, man. Once we hit that 1K, it's only up from there. Um, it's your boy Bean. I'm out.